This is a quick tutorial on how to rescue data from a failing hard drive. So you boot up into Ubuntu, you say try out, this happens to be Ubuntu 10.10. You can install uh, whatever version you wish, or don't even install it, just boot off the CD-ROM and get into Linux. You click Places, Home Folder. So this OS disk is not mounted, so you double click the OS disk and you gotta wait for a few seconds as it wakes up because it's having trouble reading. This disk won't mount in Windows and won't boot to Windows. So it takes a few seconds to mount. I'm gonna pause this because it might take up to a minute. Okay, this has now come up. It took a minute and a half, two minutes, and OS has come up and you can see the Windows folder, the program folder documents and settings. Some of you may have users if you're running Vista or Windows 7 instead of documents and settings. In this case it's documents and settings. So I've also got an external Mac store here so I'm going to double click that and I'm going to make a folder here. Create folder. John's stuff. Okay, I'm going to go into the folder I'm going to go back to the OS. So I'm going to go into Documents and Settings. Here's User John. Took a while to get that, but here's all John's stuff. So you might have to hit Edit. Uh, sorry, View, Show Hidden Files in order to see application data and local settings. Um, because sometimes, like under Local Settings, or under application data, you've got uh, folders sometimes that are Microsoft for like maybe Outlook that you might want to save out of these places. So you just grab the John folder, you right click it, copy, and you go to Mac Store, go to John stuff, and you paste it. And here's the files copying. In this case, there's not a lot of files because this is just an example. But it may take an extraordinarily long time to read the files because the data is on a drive that is failing and dying. But anything you can get off with this method is basically stuff you can save. So you just let it copy. It's got 68 megabytes. You notice it's copying like 43k a second. And that's a really unusually low number. Normally that's 800 uh, to 1.6 megs per second at least through a USB. So it says it's going to take 40 minutes. You just pause it let it finish. And when you're done, if you go to John's stuff, you can see the stuff on the Mac store. That's John's stuff. This is what it's copied so far. So that's how to rescue your data using Linux.